Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Andrea from Frost Family Pet Clinic. How's it going, Andrea? Very good. good yeah, thanks for here. having me. Good to have you here today. Thank you. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about uh, Frost Family Pet Clinic. So Frost Family Pet Clinic is a family um, family pet clinic where we take care of the furry members of the family, but also the two-leggeds as well. Um, <laughs> is that what you call them, the two-leggeds? Yes, the two-leggeds and the four-leggeds, for sure. So um, our mission is to you know really be able to be the other family doctor is essentially where we are at. So um, we like to make sure we're, you know, keeping the pets healthy and keeping the humans in the loop and knowledgeable and um, getting them all, um, you know, comfortable so that they feel like they know exactly, you know, what needs to be going on with their pet and how they can best keep their pet in the most healthy condition possible. Yeah. And so like with your own personal experience, you have like a whole breadth, right? Like you said that you before our, our little pre interview chat here, you said that you worked with large animals and small. I did. Yes. I actually started out doing large animal work for my first um, two years out of school. And then I transitioned into doing small animal work. And that's what I've been doing now for the last 13 years or so. I've been out for 15 years and um, I really uh, enjoy getting to do the hands-on procedures. So especially things like dental procedures, surgical procedures, that's really, you know, my niche and my love and my passion. So yeah. And you, I mean, just like with people, like dental care is super important for your pets. Absolutely. And so doing cleanings and things like that on a regular basis. Yes. Um, but with pets, it's a little bit different. Yes, it is. In, exactly. So um, our pets, first of all, you know, a lot of people aren't sure what they should do or how they should take care of their pet teeth. Um, brushing and keeping up with maintenance at home is very important. Um, having them come in for regular dental exams as well as dental cleanings, um, you know, super important to, you know, keep up their maintenance just like we keep up our own teeth when we go to the dentist ideally every six months <laughs> <laughs> right yeah so, with animals at least once a year we're at least once for. a year is like a solid habit to build yes and like you had um, kind of alluded to previously like you like everyone here understands that you're basically treating like for kids right correct yeah. yes yes for yes for sure a lot of our you know, a lot of our patients are a big part of the family. They're essentially a four-legged kid that a lot of humans have. Right, yeah. And so, like, you got to take care of the, the humans just as much as you take care of the pets. Yes, yes. It's, yeah. it's a lot about making sure the humans are comfortable and understanding what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, and we also, you know, a big part of our practice is making sure that we are taking care of the animals in, in such a way that we're trying to make it as fear-free as possible. In fact, that's one of our mottos or one of our um, certifications actually that we have here is to limit the amount of fear factor that goes into a visit to the vet. A lot of animals are a little unsure about it and we try to butter them up with treats and happy, you know, good things so that they think, oh, hey, we like visiting the vet. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. If only my dentist was like that, you oh, know, yes. <laughs> butter me up with treats and like fun activities when I go yes, pay him a visit. Yes. <laughs> so, um, awesome. And so you've uh, been here with Frost now for six years, right? Correct, yes. I started working with Dr. Frost uh, back in 2014 and um, really, you know, got to kind of develop that dental surgery side of things. Um, and then back in um, 2019, he actually decided, hey, it's time for him to retire. He and his wife wanted to move to Florida right. and had the great opportunity to purchase the practice from Dr. Frost back in 2019. And so now we're trying to keep um all that he built up, um, keep that wonderful momentum going and, you know, caring for the humans and the animals. Yeah. And filling those very, very big shoes too, I'm exactly. sure. So yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, for anyone out there that is interested in getting in touch with you or just like learning more about, you know, dental care, especially yes. with February being a uh, national yes. pet dental yes. care month. Pet, yeah. Pet dental that, right? month. Yeah. Close, <laughs> yeah. Close. close enough. Right. Pet Pet Dental Month is coming up in February. So yeah, if people want to contact us, um, there's a couple different ways. You can give us a call at 815-282-2800. Um, you can also text us at that same number. So oh, yeah, one number does it all. Yeah. Um, our website has a lot of good information on there. So feel free to check that out. And if there's you know concerns that you have on your pets, feel free to schedule a checkup for them. And we'd be happy to look everybody over and see you know what, what we're finding that might be a concern 
concern that needs to be addressed. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Andrea, for getting together and chatting. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. A uh, big shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to highlight local businesses and talk to wonderful people like Andrea here, bring you all this Rockford positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. And we will see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford. <laughs> Thanks.